right, guys, so last night I stayed in this 360 square foot A-frame style tiny house, one of the most unique spaces I've stayed in in a while, and I know you guys are gonna love this place, so let's go check it out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey guys, welcome to this 360 square foot A-frame style tiny house set right in the center of Houston in the Third Ward neighborhood. It is very rare that I have the opportunity to show you guys a permitted foundation ADU, an accessory dwelling unit within city limits. Now I have done a few tours of ADUs in the past and I'll leave some links in the description so you can check those out. You know, that's sort of the big friction in tiny living is that a lot of tiny houses, especially tiny houses on wheels, are pretty much illegal across the country. So I basically have to travel well outside of my city in order to film these tours and show you guys these spaces. So it's a very cool opportunity when I get to do these tours within big cities and most importantly just show you these spaces so that you guys can be inspired to do the same hopefully one day in your cities as well so this a-frame style or chalet chalet i don't even know if i'm pronouncing this correctly is a very unique tiny house that i am dying to show you the inside of so let's go check it out so welcome to the inside of the tiny house. Before we get started with the tour, I have to tell you the size and dimensions of this tiny house because it is usually the first question that I get asked. And I know the wide angle lens definitely throws a lot of you off, but on this ground level, the length of this tiny house is just under 24 feet and the width is just over 12 feet, giving us about 290 square feet on this bottom level. And then up in that beautiful bedroom loft, we have about 13 and a half feet in length by five feet in walkable distance, which is pretty much what you're allowed to consider square footage up there. So about 68 square feet in that loft, giving us a total square footage in this tiny house, right at about 360 square feet. So even though it's a tiny space, thanks to these really high ceilings and tons of windows, the space feels a lot bigger than it really is. So let's show you around. So when you walk in through that front door, the very first thing you're gonna see is that beautiful kitchen on your left-hand side. So this kitchen features an L shape with quite a bit of countertop space. We have an apartment size fridge on the left-hand side. We have a microwave. We have a two burner induction cooktop. We have a coffee pot. Unfortunately, we don't have pour over coffee, but we still have coffee. <laughs> we have a small sink with some gold fixtures and a pretty good amount of cabinet space plenty of storage space, definitely more than enough space for a short-term stay, but if you were thinking of a space like this for long-term stays, then you could probably make this work. I have about the same amount of cabinet storage, so I, I definitely see this as a valuable option. And lastly, we have these two bar stools right at the end of that countertop, giving us a very nice dining space for two. What I love about it is that it connects that kitchen to that living space and provides a nice transition when you're moving in between those spaces. Going past that kitchen, we have this beautiful open living space, which is my favorite place to hang out. We have a full-size couch on this side of the living room, perfect place to hang out, have a cup of coffee, watch some TV. We do have a TV with Netflix, Hulu, all of your streaming services for you guys to enjoy during your stay here. And we have this really comfortable chair in this corner, which was my favorite spot to hang out and have my cup of coffee. We have all this natural light pouring in thanks to these massive windows on this side of the tiny house. So it makes for a great place to read, hang out, and get some sun in while you're still inside the house. And next we're gonna take this ladder up to that bedroom loft. Now this is a really unique ladder. It's one of those sliding ladders that you've probably only seen in some libraries, but it's really cool. Just be careful, definitely make sure that it locks in place before you actually go up. But once it locks in place, we'll take this ladder up to that bedroom loft. We have a very comfortable, I think it's a full size bed up there and this loft is very unique. Usually I'm used to seeing sort of like a centered bed pushed all the way to the back of that A-frame style loft, but I really like what the owners did in this particular case. They actually pushed the bed forward a little bit 
and off-centered it, pushed it all the way to one side of the wall, which gives you plenty of space to walk around one side of it without having to duck. At least for me, I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, but behind the bed, they actually converted the headboard into this custom desk where you could do some work up there. They have a window up in that corner of that A-frame pitch roof. That brings in tons of natural light if you wanna do some work up there and use that back side of the loft space as your office. I really love it, honestly, because when you're dealing with such a small space, especially if you're living in this full time, then you have to get creative with how you use the space. Everything has to serve a second purpose in order for it to be really functional. Now, coming back down those stairs, we're going to take you into the bathroom, which is directly across from the kitchen. This bathroom cuts no corners whatsoever. They have a nice large vanity in the center of that bathroom, which has the same color cabinets as the kitchen and the living room, so it provides that nice flow of space. We have a flushing toilet on the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side, we have a beautiful tile shower in that herringbone style pattern with a rain shower head and those beautiful gold fixtures that we have in the kitchen as well. Lastly, inside this tiny house, directly across from the bathroom, you're going to find the laundry room. Yes, we actually have both a washer and a dryer, a stackable unit, but even more so, if you're thinking of this floor plan as a full-time living situation, then having that built-in washer and dryer is a game changer. And last but definitely not least, if you have an ADU within city limits, then I would highly suggest building in some sort of outdoor living space, and that is exactly what this tiny house has. So opening this glass door in the living room brings you out to this beautiful outdoor living space. We have a small little space, probably about 20 by 20 or so. We have a hammock out there. We have a sectional couch in the corner. We have a barbecue pit. We have a chair out here on the deck. Great place to have your coffee. Unfortunately, it rained quite a bit this morning, so I wasn't able to lay in the hammock or even sit in the couch or the chair, of course, because everything was very, very wet. But nonetheless, you still have this space completely private with this Airbnb rental. I'm very, very thankful that they built this into the design of this little tiny house. And that's basically it inside this tiny house. I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. All right, guys, so that is it. That is a tour of this 360 square foot A-frame style tiny house out here in Houston, Texas, in the middle of the city. I loved staying at this little tiny house. Hope you guys enjoyed that tour. I will leave the Airbnb link in the description below so you guys can come check this place out for yourselves. If you enjoyed that video, as always guys, I would greatly appreciate it if you left this video a thumbs up down below. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel so we can continue connecting with people that would be interested in these tiny house A-frame treehouse cabin tours, as well as connect you to other tiny house creators in this YouTube space. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weeks and I I will see you in the next one.